So that's how you know they built it from a mom. Yeah. A Filipino mom. You want another one? Dang, girl. Carbs. You never had these? How come you sound sweet to this when you want something? And, um, you want another one? Damn, girl, let me... <laughs> See that hand? Go ahead. Hey. Give me some. Pineapple. Jesus. As time... Ah! Oh! <laughs> this is why I'm not in your... Oh. Give me some. And she opened her mouth, but she's all like... She wants like a little bite, so I was like, oh. it ain't like you can't take it. I'll go ahead and say, I don't want any any people of color to get hurt. And does that mean I hate white people? Yes. Hey, what's going on you guys? Boy Swabby Boomer for another mukbang video. What's going on? How are you? For shout outs, requests, and dedications, make sure to hit us up on all our social media platforms. That includes our most active social media platform, which is on Instagram. That is Love at First Bite Vlog. Once again, that is Love at First Bite Vlog. You see how short that was? Mm -hmm. Abby's right here. Say hi. 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 People? Welcome to YouTube. To get your own coldest water bottle, even though they haven't contacted me, uh, make sure that one. <laughs> Don't give me that look, huh? What? If you wanna give, if you wanna get your own coldest water bottle, make sure to hit that link down below. <laughs> Type in promo code boom, and get your own uh, free shipping and handling on your coldest water bottle. You can get a big one like this or a smaller twenty ounce one, different shapes, sizes, colors. It get your name engraved, whatever you wanna do. It's all gravy, baby. All right, just hit that link down below. Type in promo code boom and <coughs> get yourself a hookup on the coldest water bottle. Um, I don't feel very well. My back hurts. I left work early. Abby's taking care of me. And these are from our whole new adventure channel. The homie Keone and Helani hooked this up. Some lumpia, some Filipino lumpia. You ever had these before? No. no? Would you like one? Here, I'm gonna dip it in here. Right. These aren't carbs, these are carb free. What do you think? I grew up in Filipino food, so I'm excited about these lumpias. How they taste. They're filled with pork and scrimps. Shrimp. They taste like a better version of a, what a spring roll should That's be. yours. What kind of dip it? <laughs> I'll get the thumbnail with yours. So I got uh, two different sauces. I have a sweet chili sauce and then a regante tropical pineapple sauce. I don't know what that means. What is this? Is that a Caribbean sauce? It's like a Caribbean sauce. All right, well, let me dip it in this sauce and get this thumbnail and I'll hand this back to you, okay? Mm -hmm. How's that sound? Like You're welcome. I haven't had lumpias in years, probably since I was a kid. Lumpias is like a, an upgraded spring roll, you said? Yeah, just way better. Do. Oh my god. I don't really like this thing though. I like these. Hmm? Whenever we get spring rolls, I don't really like them, but I like these. These are way better. Mm-hmm. Fry them right. We fried them perfectly. So my homie Keone from the past video 
the Korean barbecue Hawaiian style that he hooked up. I also got lumpias from him. And um, the bubbles. Uh, I think he's my new hookup when it comes to Filipino food or any type of Hawaiian food. Like, you know, like the Korean barbecue is really good. Yeah. Um, he doesn't have like a restaurant or anything like that, but he's just a local hookup. Um, his mom made these. So that's how you know they're good from a mom. A Filipino mom. You want another one? Dang, girl. Carbs. You never had these? Why do you sound so sweet? How come you sound sweet to this when you want something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. No. What is it? Hmm? What is it? I don't know. What is it that? What is it that? I think the only vegetable I can see is a carrot, like one slice of carrot. Right, there's carrot in this. How dare him. You want the other dip? Yeah. Did you try it? No, I want you to try it first. I think that would be a good marinade. Mm. Put that in like some salmon. Or. Or. Um, al pastor. Dumb. Al pastor. Oh yeah, that would be good in al pastor. I was in the store getting the sea chili. Uh. And there was a lady there with Pam. Not a lady, oh sorry, a man there with Pam. And he was looking for the Carne asada. Carne asada. Carne asada. I forgot how he said, but it was like, I was like, first I was like, what the hell is that? Like, but I was like, oh, carne asada. Carne, carne, car, carne. Car, but the, it was like, even the carne asada. As Here's the thing, I always find it like very surprising when like, you know, when I was a kid back in the day and like, classic like American white people would say or, or any classic American people would say like anything in Spanish and they're like hola, hola como te llamas yo me llamo Roberto donde esta la biblioteca like I get it like there was like lesser amounts of these type of people like but also speaking with somewhat of an accent or at least trying to isn't like hard you know what I mean it, I feel like it's harder to do it the other way. Like, I feel like, like, I can't, I'll speak a complete sentence in, in, Spanish, in, in English and be like, hey, man, I'm trying to find the tortillas. I feel like it's in my head, it's harder to be like, tortillas. 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 With the, with the, uh, oxaca, oxaca, oxaca cheese and the <laughs> cotija and. Hey, let's stop making fun of people, okay? We're in no position. I, I, I can't get Oaxaca. Guys, my back hurts. I'm enjoying these. These are making me feel better. But my back hurts a lot. And, um, it could be many things. But my go-to is always because I'm fat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Was that you or Rocky? Both. Do Rocky. Hey, Daddy. You're chunky like me. I. Um, Tell us about Rocky Gateway. I think I just. 
Rocky gained weight by just being here. And just by, by growing up, because he was so young and skinny. And Rocky's getting chunky. He's getting robust. He's not getting chunky. Yeah. I think I just slept on my back weird. So now my back hurts. And um, it's always funny, like, I don't I don't call out of work. I don't like I don't leave early come in. I don't do that. I just I've always I've always worked my schedule. I've always been on point with my job. And um you want another one? Damn girl, let me <laughs> see that hand? Go ahead. Hey, give me some of that pineapple salsa. I can surely like How about this? Pineapple. Or sweet chili, sorry, not sweet chili. So it doesn't drip. Both. Um, but I had to. It was, uh, went into work, told uh, people at work right away when I got there early in the morning that my back was hurting. But nobody really, yeah, I'm at work. So. Nobody really feels like it really hurts, right? So, as time progressed. I like both. As time. Ah! <laughs> Rocky hairs? Mm -hmm. You good? Mm -hmm. I got it on my PJ pants. So, as time progressed, it started getting worse. And it sucked because, you know, like, when you're just a couple of hours away from getting off, my back was burning. And I finally just had to be like, hey, I got to go home. It was funny because some of my coworkers were like, hey, man, you can tell me, you know what I'm saying? I won't say nothing if you just lying to us. <laughs> Both of these fever going there. And, uh, <laughs> that's cute. Wait, he's not doing it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn the camera so you can no, see. No, no, no. There no. we go. Oh, okay. Well, then let me do my video. You guys want to see? Here, I'll turn. No, no, no. I'm here. Oh, my God. I can't. Go ahead. It's Charlotte. Okay. No, stop. She <laughs> <laughs> so looked it up for shorts. <laughs> Cochina. Um... And uh, it was funny because it's like, if I was lying, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't have even came in. I wouldn't have. Why would I waste my time take a shower? You know when you can take a shower, get your clothes on, you're already ready. You at work. You might as well just man up. And you were never that. six you know hours anyway. So, yeah. Why? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I get a little nervous when you talk about work because... You tend to let it slip sometimes where I work. All right? I know you. Okay? You did a couple videos ago. You almost let it slip. You want these people to find me? Huh? Do you want them to find me? How many people loved how uh, Moonlight Eats came back? How fun were those comments? Hello? What? You were talking to this is why I'm not in your. Oh. I don't want any more than one bite. <laughs> why do you like this? Why do you like this? I was trying to feed her, and she opened her mouth, but she's all like, she wants like a little bite. So I was like. Yeah, you did. I didn't like, no. I didn't like, you can't take it. No. <laughs> um, so I left work. And now I'm at home. And yeah. I, uh, I want to just say one thing real quick to people asking me. To talk about the current status in this country. Um, no, I'm not. I know that 
a lot of, you know, us as human beings, we tend to like make it all about ourselves. And um, I'm not oblivious to the world. I, I, I know what's going on. It's sad. I also don't want to make myself look like I don't care when I do. It's just one of those. Ebby's made me like the happiest man on earth. Um, you guys have no idea before her and you probably won't ever really have any idea. And I am just selfishly happy right now. And I understand what's going on in the world and it's messed up. And um, I'm never gonna condone violence, but I, I, I do understand why there's bad things going on right now. Um, I, I, I'm also one of those people that I, I don't want people to riot, but not for those, not in, not in those weird reasons of like, don't riot. I don't want to be one of those people that's like, don't riot, man. You're just destroying the city for a while. I'm not one of those people. I understand why they're doing it. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that I'm condoning it. It just means that at the end of the day, I don't want any of anybody to get hurt. And I'll go ahead and say I don't want any any people of color to get hurt. And does that mean I hate white people? Yes. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm just um this is a minority situation right now. And I'm on their side right now. I'm I'm Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, right now I am and and every story is different every situation is different um like I said uh, the rioting and everything I get it I don't support it but I I understand and the reason why I don't support it is because I don't want anybody else of color to get hurt I just don't these young kids are out here I'm so proud of them I, you know, I, when I was young, um, you know, I did my share of protesting and signing petitions, doing fundraisers, doing things in the community for, especially in the, in the field that I was working in, um, radio, TV and stuff and, and being in the press and, and, the, you know, the eye of, you know, media and stuff in certain cities that I worked in. I'm, I'm no stranger to, I, and I'm also just, I wish more of my generation when we were younger um, could could have been more like the new generation. These, these young um, gentlemen and ladies uh, are way more stronger and powerful and smarter than than um, than my generation was when they were uh, yeah so I'm all I can do is um I'm, I'm like I said I'm selfishly in my bubble right now with my wife and that's frankly I don't care what anybody says that's all I give a shit about right now and um like I said I'm not oblivious to the world the horrors of the world I, I do understand what's going on I try to jump in and, and educate myself on the situations but as far as going out and doing anything I feel like right now in the state of my life at my age um. I'm exhausted. I'm done, and and um, I I feel like small acts of kindness um, uh, are better for me right now, as opposed to trying to inspire people that don't think a certain you know that that don't think my way or you know I don't want to have that fucking um, let me show you how to dance footloose moment with some you know KKK white person member so they can be like oh my god i never seen it that way i totally get white well oh my god and the mexicans aren't so bad tear down the wall no i'm good i'm over it. I'm, I'm done trying to inspire and make people you know negative people are always going to be in this world i'm just exhausted i'm not there anymore so um mad respect to all the younger folks keeping the keeping everything going so i respect y'all and i hope you guys can stay safe so thumbs up the video if you love it thumbs down if you don't comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next video all right y'all god bless peace